What's up, everybody? Welcome back to T Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we have a round number five of the PTCGO tournament series. Uh, I think uh, two weeks ago we had the Saturday, and we posted four videos. And this time around we're playing against I think Tyler playing a grass and a color deck. Yes, we let's go first as always. And like always, we are playing a. Hold on, is my character a different color? I think somebody changed my character's color. I do not remember my character looking like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, but I'm playing against a grass and color, so it definitely is probably Yon Mega Deck if I take a guess. And I'm not sure. I'm just. Does my character always look at this? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, uh, press done. Sorry, guys. This really got me distracted. But we are, of course, playing the Rainbow Road deck that we played, and there is a Yon. Okay. So we're going to. Uh, we'll just Floatstone and Sycamore discard two switches. All right, but Sycamore discard our hand, draw seven new cards. There's a Xerneas, a Love Ball. Okay, so put down the Xerneas. We'll live a ball, and with this, we'll grab a Ponyard. Oh, we have no more Joltics left. That could be bad. So grab Ponyard, okay. We'll put that guy down. Put a Fairy to right here. And I think right now, we're just going to pass. Um, yeah, that seems fine. I mean, because, yeah, that's fine. He needs a Force to drive plates. He probably played a Vest Queen. And can I don't know how this matchup actually works. Like, 90X versus 90X. Because it's the first 90X deck we've actually played against online i have tested against something against vest queen and it's a very it's a very interesting matchup with vest queen like if it's vest queen we can use the by sharp to actually take a knockout because retaliate there's a bursting balloon so that's going to make things it, uh, difficult for us so oh i'm going to discard a special charge and a via seeker so they're playing some kind of dc's i imagine uh they're probably playing a yon mega version of this deck but there's a shame it coming down now a shame it hit the field that is great for us that's an easy two price cards because we can do rainbow force for a ton of damage and there is a combi so yeah they're definitely playing vest queen in their list all right so combi coming down Shave coming down. I'm going to set up for those four cards and can my opponent find a, uh, a force to giant plants or not? If they can't, oh, we'll be okay because we can take the first knockout, which is pretty great. I think the, the the key thing is taking the first knockout, I'm pretty sure. All right, so DC going out of Shaman. Oh, we're going to see a Sky Return for 30 and an Amp. Both players should shuffle the hands to deck. We'll get six and they get six as well. So they will go for a Sky Return to knock out our Joltik. That is a spooky play. I do like it. But there's a DC and a Xerneas and a, a Trainer's Mill. There's another Komi coming down to the field. Love Ball going to search deck for probably another Yanma. I imagine is what we'll see. Yep, there's a Yanma going to their hand. Okay. And Leshi, there's a, a Yanma coming down. A Shaman coming down. Going to set up for three. All right, will my opponent find a forest of giant plants or not? They haven't played one yet. Uh, we can counter those with our Skyfield, but my opponent probably plays more forest than we do Skyfield, unfortunately. And no, just a pass on to our turn. Oh, so Yanma doesn't have free treat. That is fantastic. All right, so we'll put down a Galvantula. We'll put down Xerneas. We will DC this guy. We will Trainer's Mill. Look at soft cards of our deck. Um... I think we will just not grab anything and just play it in and give both of us a new hand of six. All right, so there we go. We're looking for a... Okay, there's not... I'm looking for an EXP share. Sorry about that. All right, so those cards come in our hand. We can Trainer's Mill. Looking for an EXP share. No, okay. Uh, we'll grab Ultra Ball. And with Ultra Ball... Um, let's see, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'm going to discard Volcanion and the Sycamore to get out of Shaman. All right, come to me, Shaman. We'll put down the Xerneas. We'll put down Shaman. And we'll set it for four new cards. Let's see, can we find an EXP share or not? That's a really big thing to look for. And, okay, there's an EXP share, which is great. So we'll put an EXP share on this guy. We will treat into the Xerneas. And we will take a knockout with the Rainbow Force. Doing a ton of damage on the first turn. 160 damage. Just barely missing the knockout for a uh, EX Pokemon. So we'll take a prize card. Going down to five. There's a Lysander, which we could bring up a Shaman next turn if we want to. And uh, here comes a Yanma for my opponent. Okay, so the opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. And, uh, I mean, we have a Life Center. There's a Yon Mega. Okay. With the Assault Boom, it does 50 plus 70, uh, which is, I mean, right now they can't take a knockout. They do 50. There's a Force of Giant Plants. And there's Yon Mega Break. Now, this Yon Mega Break will take a knockout with the Bear Break. It does 100 damage straight up. All right. And uh, does my opponent have a... Well, actually, he has to mimic our hand size. Right now, we are both at... We are at 5. He's at 6. I mean, he has he has a four. We are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if he plays an in, he cannot be at the same card size as us because we have five. He has six. What he wants to do is put down one card. So see in. Uh, we'll go down to five. He goes down to six. And can my opponent find uh, a one card to put to get rid of? There's a Ponyard, Ultra Ball, Super Rod, Public Shuffle, and some Xerneas. There's a DC gonna go be. So yeah, they will do it. Take a knockout this turn. There's a Captain Petty Pokepuff. 
And now they played two mini cards. Now they have four cards in hand. We have five. So they actually can't take a knockout this turn. That seems like, okay, bear break for 100 damage. Oh, no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, he has he has to have exactly four. That's what it is. Sorry. I thought he had to match his eyes. I forgot what the Yanmega has. Sorry, sorry. That's my fault. Uh, Yanmega says you have to have exactly four. I don't know what I was thinking about. I uh, was sending the Galvantula. Sorry, that's my fault. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good, guys. All right. So, we'll put down Bisharp. We will... We'll train his melt. Look at the top cards of our deck. Uh, do we grab Skyfield? Um, yeah, we'll grab a Skyfield to bump that Forest of Giant Plants, okay? So let's bump that Forest of Giant Plants. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking about earlier when I said that we... <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, both Super Rod. Uh, we'll shuffle in mm, one, two, and three, okay? And we'll play Sycamore, get a new hand of seven. We gotta find a DZ to actually get attack off the turn. And let's see, okay, we find one, and oh, we don't find one yet. Uh, put down Xerneas. We'll put down Ponyard. We will Shaman set up for two, okay. And can we find a DC or not is the question. And oh, there's no DCE. All right, so what we're gonna do now? Um, hmm. We're gonna put a, uh, a fair energy in the active, and we're gonna go for a double thread, and we're gonna hit the Shaman and Shaman for 60 damage. Uh, maybe get those guys set up. Uh, we have to find another Joltik though. We haven't played all of our Joltiks just yet. So do our opponents. So they could be now forced to giant plants and maybe bump both their Shamans. But right now, both their Shamans are in are in target of being knocked out. And they want to fill their bench up to actually get rid of them. All right, so the Sycamore gun discard the hand, draw seven new cards. Uh, discards a bunch of stuff. Like they should have probably benched the Spinner the Shaman, and the other stuff. Um, so that way they can put down a force to giant plants, counter that Skyfield. Um, but they take a knockout, we can send up Xerneas, take a Rainbow Force that way, to knock it out. There's another, uh, Vesky coming in line, okay. And can we find another Kombi or not, is my question. Uh, right now he cannot take a knockout, well, he, I guess he gets Vesqueen probably, and take a knockout that way instead. Uh, but if we use Vesqueen, okay, Burst Wind going to the active, so he's gonna go down to four, okay. There's a Salt Boom for a knockout, do 120 damage, we'll move a, uh, Sphere Energy from this guy to that guy, of course. And we will sit in the Xerneas with the two energy. So let's go Xerneas. And on our turn, what do we find? Okay, there's a Via Seeker. Someone put down a Ponyard. I mean, a Bi Sharp, sorry. And we'll play it in. Put both of us. We'll go down to four. We go down to five. And can we find a Joltik? And a. Oh, okay, there's not a Joltik yet, but we do have a Fair Energy, which is great. Uh, so we'll play Trainer's Mail. And we're looking for a Love Ball or an Ultra Ball. No, there's not one with that we need, but we'll grab a Max Luxor, okay? So we'll max looks at look at top cards of our deck, and there's a fair energy. We'll attach that to the Xerneas. We'll put a fair energy on the active, and it'll go for Rainbow Force for the knockout, okay? Uh, we will get hit by that burst one for 60. Oh, actually, don't take a knockout because there's 140 HP. Oh my goodness, we need a Volcanion. No! All right, so my opponent's turn. Okay, that's, ba that's bad, guys. That's really bad. All right, do we have another Joltik left? I don't know if it's in the deck. Uh, there's a Delinquent. Oh my goodness, he just delinquent us. Okay. Well, we got to discard three cards. One, two, three. That is beautiful. Alright, so we'll discard a Shaman. And, oh my goodness, what just happened? He just delinquent us. That is amazing. Okay, alright, things are going great right now. They are going perfect. Alright, so put it to take a knockout, going out of three. We need a top deck something, because right now, oh, that was bad. That was bad. He discarded two via Seekers, delinquent out of nowhere. So that's a Brave Break for 100, okay? Alright, guys, do we have a chance or not is my question. Okay, so I'm going to send this by Sharp. All right, on to our turn. What do we get? There's a Skyfield. So in our turn, on to our opponent's turn. He's going to get two prize cards, okay? All right, guys. I am nervous now. I am super nervous all of a sudden. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. How do we do this? Okay. We just got to believe. We just got to believe, guys. We got to hit the top deck. Um, No more Trainer Smell. No more Via Seekers. One in. Uh, One Sycamore left. Okay. Okay. We have Joltik left to eat. Oh, man. If, like, he's going to get two prize cards, right? Hmm. This is bad, guys. This is real bad. This is bad. Do we didn't even knock out the Yon Mega? I didn't know. I didn't even think we I thought we had enough. I thought we had enough, but we didn't have enough not, to knock out the Yon Mega. Uh, we see something being attached somewhere. Don't know what that was. Um, But let's see what my point to do. They'll probably take a knockout this turn. I'll revitalize and put two Pokemon back in their hand. There's Yama and Yon Mega. Uh, he put down a Force of Japanese. That was so Yama, Yon Mega. Okay. And we'll see a knockout. Go down to two prize cards, okay? Has the opponent played a Lysander yet? 
they have not played Lysander either, okay? So we're going to send up Xerneas. And let's see what the top deck is. Hopefully it's something good. On our turn, we get a DCE, okay? Well, we'll DC the active. Oh, baby. All right, so we'll DC the active. We'll take a knockout, okay? We'll go down to four prize cards. And let's see, what do we find? I mean, we are in trouble, guys. We are in trouble because that Vest Queen is going to take a knockout. There's a VS Seeker, but that is way too late. Here comes, okay, Vest Queen. All to our opponent's turn right now. It's going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually only doing 80, so that's not enough for a knockout. There's Enhanced Hammer just creating a DCE, okay? I'm fine with that. Um, and let's see, does my opponent have any way to put their hand down to four, get a Omega out, Lysander for Shaman? Um, because this guy's not going to take a knockout either. There's a Lysander for the Shaman. All right, and does he have a way? I mean, maybe we'll go for a Sky Return next turn. Okay, so be revenge. Not enough for a knockout, 80 damage. All right, and on our turn, we will have to play a Sycamore, okay? There's an Ultra Ball. Um, we are going to Via Seeker. For Sycamore, we're going to discard a hand, draw seven new cards, and we have to find a DC right now, or we will lose this game. So Sycamore, discard a hand, draw seven new cards, and oh no. All right, we get a Flow Stone. All right, but if he has a VS Seeker, he can win this. Oh gosh, guys. All right, so how many VS Seekers? One VS Seeker has been played, so he probably has the other one to tan. We missed it. Do we have any DCs left either? Um, one DC left, so Flux on the active, we will retreat into the Xerneas. Uh, we'll, send, we'll send in this Xerneas, put a Fair Energy on it, and we'll end our turn out to our opponent's turn. They have a license, they can bring up shame, take a knock on it. Oh my goodness, do they have a VSU or not is the question right now. Guys, does my opponent have it? And let's see, that license, does he have a VSU or not is the big question. Um, wait for it. And there's an Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from his hands. Discard a Best Queen and a Combi. Will we see another Shaman or not come down is my question. If they have a Shaman, they can put that down. But they already discarded one Shaman. So, okay, there's a Yon Mega Break. We don't care about that too much. So right now he's doing 100. There's a Yon Mega Break coming down. Okay. And let's see. What will my opponent do this turn? He can take a knockout. Okay, he's not going to take... Okay, there's Sycamore. Going to discard the hand. Draw seven new cards. Put the Judge in the discard pile. Okay. Um, we're gonna end our opponents. Like that's definitely the best play right now is to end. Uh, we have one EXP share maybe left, one DC left maybe. Uh, there's a lot of maybes going on right now. Um, but we will see. I mean, hopefully we top deck Joltic. That's what we really need. So top deck Joltic and then maybe threaten them with a Galvanjo. This is retreating to Shaman. Okay, we're so we're gonna see the Sky Return for thirty. All right. And let's see, who does my opponent put down? Here comes Vest Queen. All right, so on our turn, what do we get? There's an Ultra Ball, okay? So, <sighs> Ultra Ball, I kind of too late there, bud. All right, so Ultra Ball uh, discards Xerneas and a Skyfield. And let's see, is the Joltic even in the deck or not? And no, there's no Joltic left in here. All right, so ooh, we actually <sighs> we actually in real big trouble. All right, because we end, we lose. It's three, four, five. Hmm... All right, so yeah, we're gonna end. Have one card left, okay? Uh, okay, nope, zero cards. I messed up. Well, what, what, well, I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot we put a card in the deck. All right, but we lost regardless. Like we don't have any energies left after he knocks this guy out. We don't have any to retaliate. Uh, it's 130 damage. Go to the best queen and win regardless. The last Joltic was prized either way. Uh, we were going. Yeah, there's a Joltic. We have no more energies left either. Um, there is three, six. We have one DCE. And one fair to G prized, I am pretty sure. Uh, but on the game, number two, my opponent probably, does he have a v or not? I mean, regardless, he can just, just pass and we, and he wins. Like, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's a judge. I mean, it's okay. I guess we can do a hand of four, but like, we can't win either way. Um, <laughs> we got Jolting and Galvantula. Like, my opponent saved us, but they're going to take a knockout. Going to send him Yon Mega, I guess. Yon Mega break. Going to take a knockout this way. Okay. All right. There's a barrier break for a knockout. 100 damage. Um, but we have no energies left, nothing really. I mean, if we had an energy, we couldn't take a knockout either way. But on our turn, we'll put that guy down, put down Joltik. And, uh, Lysen up Shaman. And we will, uh, Max Lixer. And we will, uh, just end our turn on their opponent's turn. Alright, but, uh, yep, there's game number one. We did lose this game, 3-1. to one. Um, but it's okay, it's okay, we got this. 
on to game number two. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we lose this game, we don't make cut um, into top eight, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll see his character for 30, knock us out, and uh, I'll probably go first game number one. Like I said, always his best two out of three, and can we beat the Yon Mega Vest Queen deck or not? Uh, let me just let my opponent know that I'll go first. Alright, so this is my opponent messaging. I'm going to go first. Game number two. Hopefully they're not trying to talk to me because I don't have channel here. Uh, this guy turn for a knockout. Okay. And, okay. So on to game number two. We'll see what happens. I mean, my opponent has to sit up somebody. So y'all make a break. Okay, there we go. So we'll press done. We'll try to game number two. So um, let's go back here. Challenge Rainbow Road. Okay, so round number two. Let's see, can we have a better luck or not? It's the question. Those burst balloons really did hurt. That's the main thing. Those burst balloons are dangerous. But really, I mean, I guess missing that Yon Mega Break knockout was pretty bad as well. I guess we should put down the Volcanian next time. We did put down Volcanian this turn. Uh, we'll see what happens in game number two. Hopefully, we do win this and bring it back. Um, I mean, round number one, I think we did lose. No, we lost the second game, I'm pretty sure, in round number one. All right, so in the game number two, uh, let's see what's going to happen. We're once again playing against Tyler, playing his Yon Mega Vest Queen deck. And uh, yes, I would like to go first, please. I call the coin flip in. Let's see. We'll wait on it. I mean, does it matter? I'm still cute, confused. Is my character different? Does it look different, guys? Am I, am I crazy? I don't remember the other videos what it looked like, but I definitely don't remember my character wearing a green shirt. Alright, so we lost the coin flip, but we'll go first regardless. It is best to have three. We get to decide to win and go first or second. And we are going to opt to go first. So, yep. Only... Alright, I think my opponent misclicked. Hold on. Hold on. Wait on it. I... Hold on. I think he misclicked. Oh. <laughs> all right um i don't know what's happening right now like i should definitely be going first um what what oh no so let me uh let me miss you see the game real quick yeah he, he doesn't know what's going on hold on hold on hold on let's let's resend this so let's resend all right we'll take take number two guys He said, oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, he was just like, yes, I won the coin flip. I'm ready to go. Um, but that's, that's not how it works. Uh, <laughs> so we'll take two. We'll take it. Hold on. Hey, if we don't, hit this, if we don't have a sport card in my hand, I'm going to be kind of upset because we had one in our hand last turn. Um, but I mean, I don't have this spotty card, but whatever. All right, so take number two. Let's try this again, guys. Let's see. Um... <laughs> he said he was thinking about something else, but that's okay. That's okay. We forgive. Mistakes do happen. Um... But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we do have a supporter card because I know that hand we did have one. So it'd be kind of bad if we don't have one this hand because we knew we had one last game. Um, but waiting for one to uh, accept this game. And all right, so let's see what happens at game number two now. All right, so here we go. Take number two on game number two. All right, guys, and I'll call heads like always. And let's see. It is tell us. Hopefully, we lost the coin flip again, but we get to go first. Wait for it. He did it again. I'm pretty sure he just did it again. Did he not just do it again? Did it say your opponent's turn is going first? Oh no, I'm pretty sure my opponent's going first. I'm pretty sure it said my opponent's going to go first. All right, but we'll, we'll, we'll make sure. If my opponent draws a card first, then they definitely, he definitely clicked the wrong thing again, okay? So there's a Xerneas, whatever. Uh, put that up, press done. This hand's actually really good because you're fair to GDCE for next turn. And oh my goodness, my opponent is going first again. All right, take number three. All right, come on. It does, it's not that hard. I, I know. Just know. All right, come on. Let's try it again. One more time to do this. Come on now. All right, come on. Let's, let's click OK. My challenge is not to sit there this time. OK. All right, so um, let's try again. All right, okay. He said this time for sure. Do we believe him, guys? 
Do we believe it's really going to happen this time around? I don't know. We'll wait here and find out. All right, so looking for Potent again. And uh, let's see. Hopefully, we win the coin flip this time. It makes it way easier. Hopefully, we just win and we get to go first. Like, that would be the best way. All right, so loaded the game. <laughs> so take number three on game number three. And uh, wait for Potent to load in the game. Okay. Uh, call heads like always. Oh, and it tells. All right, so take number three. This is his third shot. Let's see. Does he go first or not? And we're going first. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All right. That's what I like to see. All right. Oh, my goodness. We have no supporter card. He said, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, right now, we don't have a supporter card. All right. But Pota has no base Pokemon. All right. So, there's, there's that Delinquent that had. Oh, my goodness. That Delinquent last game was so, like, so bad. So, we need to make sure our hand is not at three because we'll just cry. Like, but sometimes you can't help it. Like, sometimes your hand just goes down to three. All right. So, yes, we'll draw for the Mulligan. There's a switch and an ultra ball. All right, so we'll train your smell. Um, this is what I was so scared of. Um, because now we don't have any. We don't have any supporter cards. All right, so press done. We'll put down Skyfield. We will ultra ball discard Ranger and Lysander, and with this, we'll grab a Shaman EX. All right, so grab Shaman. Okay, we will Shaman set up for three and hopefully find a supporter card. Um, yes, I like to draw. Do have six cards in our hand? All right, so we'll put a grass. I mean, fair to the active. We'll end our turn. This is what I'm scared of. I was so scared that we'd have a good start, then my opponent just I maybe mean, we have a bad start, and then now we don't have anything. All right, so love ball. Going to get Yama. Okay. And uh, there's Yama going down. A force of giant plates above our sky field. Okay. A burst balloon going down to the Yanma. A shame is set up for three. And let's see, will my opponent play an in or not? Okay, that's the main question. Right now, our hand is pretty bad. Just three VS Seeker, Super Ride, a super Switch. There's a DC going to the active. Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from his hand. And there's an enhanced hammer and a VS Seeker. Okay. And my opponent probably grab, will they grab a Shaman or they grab a Yan, Yan, Yan Mega. Okay, there's Yan Mega. Okay. Right now, the Yan Mega can only do 50. So, Yan Mega coming down. Okay. There's a second one. Going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And Kim and Pona find a Yan Mega Break and a way to put his hand down to four. There's a Kombi coming down. Okay. Uh, Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from his hand. There's a Special Charge and a Revitalizer. If he had kept. One, he could uh, get Yon Mega Break and attack this turn, but unless he has another trick up his sleeve, let's see. Does my opponent have a way to do this? I mean, we're in trouble. If he goes through the 100 damage, there's a Shaman going to his hand, okay. So, Shaman coming down. There's Shaman coming down. Going to set up for three. Like I said, if he didn't put down this Combi, he get Ultra Ball for Yon Mega Break and attack this turn, and then if we attack into it, we actually get knocked out because of that Bursty Balloon. Uh, Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from his hand, discards a Yon Mega and a Sycamore, okay. And let's see what will I point to find. Once again, he cannot get a Yon Mega Break as of right now. He has he'll have too few cards in his hand. He could go for a assault boom for 50 though, if he wants to do that. Um let's see what the Ultra Ball gets him. Maybe another Shaman. Um uh, there's a Yon Mega Break. Okay. Does he have a way to put two, to put a card in his hand? That's the question. Does he have a revitalizer maybe? Um that could be good. Uh, I mean, he could just... Well, he can't evolve. If he evolves, he can't attack with this guy. That's the main thing to know. So, retreat to Yon Mega. Okay. And we'll see a Soul Boom for 50. And hopefully, we top deck something. Sonar turn. Alright, so I guess we'll switch into Shaman. We will Lysander bring up a Shaman. And we'll pass on to our opponent's turn. Alright, so send up, we'll bring up the Shaman. We'll end our turn. Alright. First one gets discarded onto our opponent's turn. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. All right, like I said, this is what I was scared of. Like, we have a bad hand, and uh, we had a good hand. Like, I don't know. I mean, we at least had a supporter card last time, but now we don't even have a supporter card. All right, so uh, let's see what our opponent do. Uh, there's Neon Mega Break coming down. Okay, we knew they had that. And does the have, I mean, if the opponent plays a switch, they can't really attack when you make a break this turn, which is great for us. There's a burst balloon going to the active, okay? Uh, Sycamore, go and discard the hand, draw seven new cards, discards a Yama and a VS Seeker. All right. Um, I guess we could try to deck our opponent out. That could maybe be a thing. Uh, Captivated Pokepuff, they're going to notice we don't have anything. Um, okay, I mean, if we did have somebody, we would have definitely put it down. Like, why would we not put that down? Um, but a pass on to our turn. All right, so we get a Fairy to G. I guess a Fairy to G, this guy. 
will end their turn. Until our opponent's turn, Burst will be in discarded. Okay. So our opponent's turn, they have 20 cards left. I mean, maybe he'll go for a deck out. I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways to do something at least. Um, there's a Yanma coming down. Okay. Uh, Ultra Ball, go and discard two cards from their hand. Uh, discard the Yanma and a Lysander. All right. Let's see what will opponent find. Uh, maybe they prize the rest of their energies. That's the only thing I'm hoping for. I right, still so get a card of their hand. Okay. Uh, Yanma, Yan Mega coming down. Okay. Yan Mega Break coming down. And we will see a Sycamore just a pass for opponent. There's a Sycamore going to discard their hand. They have 12 cards left. Okay. And does opponent find an Ari Dose? They can take a knockout that way. There's a Vesquid coming down. Okay. And just a pass onto our turn. We get a Xerneas. So put down Xerneas. We will just pass again onto our opponent's turn. They have a, I mean, maybe we'll go for a deck out. I don't know. I just try to think of a way to win this game, I guess, now, right? Um, <laughs> all right. So, um, we know they play special charge. They already, yeah, they already discarded a special charge. So maybe they don't have another one. That could be a thing. Um, I don't remember if they play Flowstone or not. I don't see one of the discard power right now. Yeah, I don't see one of the discard power. Um, but right now we're just at a passing war. There's a DCC to active. So we see a sky return. Or will he retreat? That's the question. Um, there's a sky return for 30. All right. So going to send up probably, I don't know, the Omega. That's great. All right. So in our turn, what do we get? There's another Via Seeker. So Via Seeker for a Lysander. We'll bring up that Spinarak. And we will just end our turn. Onto our opponent's turn. Okay. So they have, uh, they have they have a DC in their hand, so they can retreat. But I don't know if they can play their hand down to four as of right now. And they can't, like, attack and, like, attach and attack with this guy. So that's good. Um, right now, Via Seekers are our best friend. Just try to license her up over and over again, and maybe we'll run him out of energies. Um, that's the only thing we can try to do, I guess. Um, will it work or not? It's a bold strategy. Oh, I'm scared. At least, at least all of his uh, burst wounds, almost all of his burst wounds are gone. Uh, two Via Seekers, four Sycamores are gone. He does have Judge and Ends as well, which is going to be fairly difficult for us to deal with. But man, hopefully we just hit it in or something. Um, uh, we do have Flowstone, we have Switch, there's a, a DC going to be active, okay? And can opponent play his hand down to four is the big question right now. Um, let's see, guys. Alright, we'll wait to see what will opponent do with a retreat, okay? I mean, if you retreat, that's two DCs gone. Uh, hopefully he prized one, that's what we're hoping for. If you prize at least one, we can win, we can win him out by Lysander of somebody over and over again. We have played two VS Seekers already, and just one Lysander. There's an end. Okay, there we go. So we'll both get a new hand of six. Thank you, Pokemon. All right, so we'll both get a new hand of six. And let's see, what do we get with this? There's a Sycamore. All right, so all our friends are here finally. Okay, there we go. So there's a, an Ariados coming down, okay? All right. So can he play his hand down to four is my question. Probably. Uh, they're treating to, uh, you want to make a break, okay? And all he needs is to put down one card. There's a, a Bursty Bullet going to the active. All right, so Barry Break for the knockout, 100 damage, going down to four price cards, okay. I mean, I'm really tempted to just, like, keep license to the Aria Dose. All right, so we'll set up these Xerneas, okay. Own our turn. We'll get a switch. We'll put down the Ponyard. We'll Ultra Ball, discard one to two. Um, with this, we'll grab a Joltik. We will put down the Joltik, and we will, I guess, just Juniper, discard a hand, draw seven new cards. No, we need to be make sure we're okay. So we'll play an in. Uh, he'll go down to four. We go to six. And there's a DCE, but we don't... Oh, man. I was hoping to get... All right, whatever. We'll put a DCE... <sighs> hmm. We'll put a DC on the active, and we'll go for Rainbow Force. Four... I don't know. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. There we go. We need to put down Volcanion, and then we'll Rainbow Force for the knockout. I almost made a misplay there. Uh, we, wouldn't have, we wouldn't have done enough damage, but six damage come down from the Burst Balloon. We'll go down to five Prius Guards, and let's see. What do we get? There's a Shebe. Okay, that's great for us. Uh, Shebe coming up, and on to our opponent's turn. Uh, they have a DCE that can just Sky Return for the knockout. All right. Um, there's a DCE. So they have one. We know they have one DCE left, because they obviously it's a Sky Return with it. Okay. Um... Hmm, but what do we get? Like, do we try to license up Ariados? Stall our opponent that way? That can be really useful. There's a delinquent. So you have to discard three cards. I'm discarding... Um... Oh, man. All right, so let's think about this. We need to keep the DCE. Uh, so discard one, two, three. Okay. All right, so he's going to Skyrim for knockout. Going out of three. 
And let's see who our opponent decides to send up. So Sky Return for the knockout doing 30 damage. And who will they send up is my question. Will they send up Yon Mega Break or the Vest McQueen? So going out of three. We'll send up the Joltik. And we need to find a Max Luxor with a Fair Energy. That's what we're hoping for now, guys. All right. So let's see who they decide to send up. Hmm. This is bad, guys. This is really bad. Because we had to discard another Xerneas as well. But we do have a Super Rod list. So there's Mega Break coming up. We'll send up Joltik. All right. So on our turn, what do we get? There's a Max Luxor. Okay, Max Luxor. Don't let me down. And there is a Fair Energy. We'll attach that to the Xerneas. Okay. We'll put a DC on this guy. And we'll go for an end. I'll put going to three. We go to five. And let's see. Can we find something or not? There's a Galvantula and a Xerneas. All right, guys. So let's see. Three, four, five, six. I don't think my opponent can take a knockout next turn. So we'll treat it this guy. We'll put down Galvantula, we'll put down Xerneas, and we will Rainbow Force for the knockout. There we go, guys. So maybe maybe things are looking up. We did 190 damage. We'll go down to four prize cards. Okay. And uh, there is a Flowstone. All right. So let's see. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is the max he's doing right now with that Xerne and with the Vessel Queen. Okay. Uh, but he has to play a DCE. Okay, there's a Love Ball going out. Maybe a Yanma? Uh, maybe a Kombi? Um, let's see, what will our opponent get with this guy? Now, hmm. Man, okay, there's a Combi, okay. Do we try to go for the Life Center? Like, if he doesn't take a knockout, we're definitely taking a knockout this turn. But if he does, I'm probably sending the Volcanian. Let it, uh, do we let the Volcanian take a tank for a turn? We could send a Bisharp. If that could take a knockout on Vest Queen, that could be really good. Um, we know he has two DCs left. We've seen, well, you know he has one left. We've seen one of them for sure when he Sky Return with Shaman. So maybe we're okay. There's a Kombi coming down, okay. There's a Shaman. Going to set up for four new cards. And let's see, can my opponent find a DC or not? So going to put six cards in their hand. Um, but right now he is not taking a knockout. There's a Force of Giant Plants coming down. We don't care about that. There's a Vessel coming in line as well, okay. And let's see what's going to happen. Does my opponent have a DC or not? Has he played Revitalizer? He has not. Oh, he's played one Revitalizer. There's another Shaman. Going to come down. Set up for three. Okay. All right. So let's see. What does my opponent get? Right now, they cannot take a knockout. There's a DC to the active. But this Beer Revenge, I don't think it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's not enough for the knockout. They will need a Lysen into this turn uh, via Seeker. And there is a Delinquent. So he's going to discard a Tan Draw. That's fine. We'll discard uh, Ponyard, Sycamore, and, and Flowstone. Okay. All right, so we at least have the one Sycamore in our hand. That's good to go. And we'll see a knockout, but we, we, I mean, we won't see a knockout. I'm pretty sure it's 110, right? Right? Oh, no, the Poisonous Nest What's going to knock us out. Oh, no, Poisonous Nest is becoming MVP right now. So this is a beer range for the knockout, 110, but with the Poison, will it knock us out? Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, so now we got to find a Buyer Sharp. I don't even know if there's one in the deck. Okay, so it's in a Ponyard. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I forgot about Arya does. All right, so on our turn. We get a trainer's mill. We'll trainer's mill. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. We, okay, so Bisharp is in there. I see it. So we're going to have a switch. Uh, how many switches? Are there one switch? One floodstone. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab a switch and then we'll stick more discard our hand, draw seven new cards. We're looking for an energy and a buy sharp. Take a knockout on the active. All right. There's the EXP share and there is the buy sharp. All right, so put that down right here. We will max elixir. Gonna get a fair to G. We'll put that on this guy. We'll put a DC on the active, and we'll go for a knockout with the retaliate. Oh my goodness! We'll put a flush on the on the Volcanian as well. So go for retaliate for the knockout. Okay, there we go. Re oh my goodness! Wait, what? Oh my goodness! The poison knocked us out last, and I forgot. Oh my goodness! All right, that was, that was a huge misplay on my part. I forgot that the poison knocked us out last turn, not an actual attack. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, I just I just remember that. I remember that Arya does knocked us out. Not the actual. Oh my goodness. There's a burst moon going to the active. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe that I just I mean whatever mistakes happen, right? Right? Alright, so now what we need to hope is okay, there's a V Seeker for a, a Lysander, okay. We're gonna bring up the Xerneas and take a knock on it. Okay, so here comes Xerneas. How many V Seekers has he played? Four V Seekers are gone. Uh one Lysander, okay. So he's going to go to, okay, Poison's Nest, whatever. There they go. Oh, my goodness. All right, so there's 110, then whatever. I, ESP should not even matter. So there's Poison Knockout, okay. So going to one Price Card. We need to hit an a, a N. 
Now, when you hit a V, it's like your license to bring up the Ariados. So, there is a train as well. Well, train as well. Look at top cards of our deck. Uh, there's an in. Okay. Guess it's something, right? So, we're grabbing in. Um, we'll play down Skyfield. And we'll play it in. Yeah, we'll play it in. Okay. There we go. Both of us get four cards. He gets one. We get four. And, okay, that's not what we wanted. Okay, that's not good. All right. So... We'll end our turn onto our opponent's turn. All right, so that gets discarded. On our opponent's turn, let's see what do they have. Now, what we could do next turn... Oh, my goodness, hold on. It's freezing right now. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Okay, there's a Poison's Nest. Going to poison both of us. Or poison just us, okay? There's a Judge. No, not a Judge. No, 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 no. I should attach an Energy. Oh, my goodness, okay. Okay, so we got it still. We, well, we don't have it, but we have a... Maybe a good shot. I mean, okay, so he's going to hit us for a ton of damage, okay? The question is, is this, he has one DC left. Where is that one DC is my question. Because what we can do next turn is we can send up Galvantula. Do double, there's a DC going out of Shaman. Oh my goodness. So we're going to send up the Shaman. So we know the DC is in his hand. So there's 30 damage, whatever. All right. And here comes that guy. Okay. On to our turn. All right. So there's a fair to G. Hmm. So how many Pokemon does Cabral? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so we're going to train as well. We are looking for that last switch in our deck. There's another Via Seeker. Okay, so we're going to have Via Seeker. All right. So what we're going to do. Okay, let me, let me think about this, guys. We're going to Via Seeker for license to bring this guy up. We're going to add 130. He will... Three, okay, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I'm going to be a seeker for Lysander. We're going to bring up the Arya Dose, okay. Um, we will end our turn out to our opponent's turn, all right? So we'll take damage of poison, okay. I don't think we get knocked out just yet. We have 130 HP left, and he is not swinging enough for a knockout. So he's got to attach a DC to Arya Dose, right? All right, all right. Let's see what's going to happen. I mean, he could just pass and let the poison stack up that way. He didn't attach an DC retreat. But if he does that, we'll end our opponent down to one. And hopefully they don't hit a Shaman or a DC. They played all their VS Seekers. Okay. They played one Judge, one in, one Delinquent, one Lysander. Okay. And there's a Poison's Nest. Okay, going to poison both of us. We don't care about that. Whatever. And just a pass. All right. So on our turn, what we're going to do, we have to do this or we'll lose the game. We'll, we'll put a fair to in this guy. We'll via seeker or a in and put opponent down to one prize card. All right, so we're going to in. All right, guys, so we got to hope he does not hit a, um, he does not hit a shaman or a DC. So we're treated to this guy. We will double thread, Okay. We'll do one here and one here. It's going to be up to my opponent. Does he hit a DC or a Shaman? All right, so 30, 60. Next time we take a price card on both of these guys. So my opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. And do they have a DC or a Shaman or a supporter card or anything? If they don't, we could probably win this game. Oh, my goodness. Well, maybe. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. And a pass on to our turn. All right, so now we can double thread. Knock out one and two. It will take three prize cards this turn. All right, guys. So there we go. 60. We'll take one and two. We get a Sycamore. We get a Lover Ball. All right. Take another prize card. We go down to one card. And I do not think my opponent can win this game now. Oh, my goodness. How do we pull this Miracle Comeback? I suppose we're going to draw a card. Okay. And I think we got it. I think we got this, guys. I, I cannot see how my opponent's going to win this game now. <sighs> Woo! All right. Unless he plays a Switch. Okay. So, on our turn, we are going to Super Rod. Uh, we're going to put two Xerneas back into our deck. We're going to put three Xerneas back into our deck. Whatever. We will Ultra Ball, discard one and two. With this, we'll grab a Xerneas. We'll put down the Xerneas. Attach a Fair Energy. And we'll go for the Double Thread. All right. Yep, we'll go for the Double Thread. I hit the bench for 30. And next, we can attach it easy and win the game. Because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Oh, my goodness. Looks like we might take game number two. Woo! Okay, so on our turn, whatever. Uh, we are going to retreat this Galvantula. Into Xerneas, we'll put a DC on the active, and we'll go for the Rainbow Force for the knockout. Oh my goodness, guys, that was a great game, number two. I don't know how we made that comeback, but we did it, guys. And that is possible. Okay, it is possible we can beat this deck. So press done. On to game number three. 
And, uh, oh my goodness, guys, let's see what's going to happen. Can we win this or not? Oh my goodness, I was so nervous. I was like, man, there's no way going to beat this deck, but we did it. Okay, he said, I'll go first. All right, do we let him go first? For real, for real? Or do we go first, for real, for real? All right, we'll press okay to rainbow. For, I got I to gotta get a drink of water. Hold on a second. All right. All right, so let's see what happens. On the game number three, can we do this or not, guys? That Lysander, Lysander, Lysander play was amazing. I don't, just, it just happened to work that way. And uh, we'll see what happens in game number three. Hopefully, my opponent just dead draws and we just win because that would be amazing. Uh, but we'll see. Like, we learned a lot about, uh, about, this, uh, about this matchup. Like, uh, how Poison doesn't trigger <laughs> Bite Sharp, which I know that. I'm just being silly. I know it doesn't uh, trigger EXP Share either because it's not by attack. I'll go ahead and always. It's Dallas, whatever. Let's see. Does the opponent get it right this time? It's up to them. Like, maybe they'll get it right. Uh, let's see. Will we go first or will they go first? My heart's beating real fast, too. I don't know why. I'm so nervous, guys. If we lose this round, I don't think we can make top eight. All right, so here we go. All right, so we don't have a Pokemon yet. That's a that's a great, because that's a bad hand to have. That is a bad hand. All right, so they get a Pokemon out. Okie dokie. Another Pokemon coming down. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tempted to, like, just keep licensing up a Spitter X again. That was, that was so much fun. All right, so here we go. There's a Shaman. Perfect. All right, so we start shaming. That's a great Pokemon. But maybe, okay, maybe, guys, we take a knockout turn. Maybe we get that turn one crazy wombo combo playoff. Uh, Yanma, Yanma, okay. There's an Ultra Ball. Go and discard two cards in their hand, okay. All right, guys, can't, oh my goodness. If we somehow get a turn one Xerneas break off, I would cry. I would cry. I'd be so happy. I would be, I would be amazed. All right, so Kumi go in their hand, okay. Alright guys, we gotta think of how we're gonna do this. So Kumi coming down on the field. There's a DC going to it, okay. And does my opponent have a sport of cards? Just sick more. Go ahead discard the hand, draw seven new cards. I think my opponent's had like a sport of card almost every turn. Unless the last game where we're like end them I mean we end them down to one and he didn't have anything. Alright guys, so here we go. Um does my opponent have a force of giant plants? There's a burst okay, a bursty balloon. Alright, whatever. Whatever, okay. Whatever. All right, so I put a burst on the Yama. Okay, and a pass onto our turn. What do we get? There's a max elixir. Okay. All right, so we're going to love ball. Uh, we're going to grab a Joltik. Because Galvantula is so good. All right, so we'll grab Joltik. We'll put that down. We will Ultra Ball discard one and two. And with this, we'll get a Shaman. Even though I don't want to get a shame and put it down on the field, but we have to get a shame. We need to set up. Um, I'm trying to think where this, if this EXP share even goes anywhere. We're going to shame and set up for three, okay? And let's see, can we find a Xerneas and a support guard? Okay, um, we'll just pass on to our opponent's turn. I love you, Pokemon. I love you. All right, so on my opponent's turn. Uh, there's a Yon Mega coming down. At least they can knock us out, right? So that's good. Um, we can maybe find a DC, a Sky Return to put the shame back in our hand. Um, there's a Bursty Balloon. We don't care about that, really. Especially if we hit a DC, then we're fine. Um, there's a Lysander going to bring up Joltik. Good thing I knock out this turn. Whatever. All right, so 50 damage. Going down to our pool or Joltik. All right, so I'm putting it going to five cards, five prize cards. We'll just set up Shebe. On our turn, what do we get? Sycamore. A Sycamore, are you kidding me? So, uh, Floatstone, Floatstone, Max Elixir. For nothing, great. Um, well, Sycamore discard an EXP share. Woo! All right, so things are going perfect. Oh, my goodness. Why Why do we put... Oh, my goodness. Now, Soul Boom can knock us out. <gasps> no, we can't... E oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> why do we even Floatstone or Sheamus? Because now, Soul Boom... Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's happening right now. I guess, like, something. We'll put a DC on this guy, and we'll just end our turn. All right, so my opponent's turn. We couldn't Sky Return because it's all boom and knock out our Shaman. And even if we did, a Sky Return, he can get down a, an Ari Dose and, a, and, a, and a, an Ari Dose to knock us out. I just, I just don't know, right? I just don't know right now, guys. I just don't know. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh. 
feel like I'm letting y'all down. All right, we need to tell Nick a, a lot. If he, an N, an N would be great. Cause like if we don't, we're in a sick and discard our VS seekers. There's a DC going to that guy. Okay. Come on, man. You can put your hand out of four. Shouldn't be that hard, right? There you go. Shame it. Don't set up. Don't set up. And you're good to go. Okay, no, you're going to set up. All right, cool. Whatever. I'll allow it. So set up for two. Okay. Two DCs are down the field. Um, We can maybe go for that. Okay, there's a, uh, a Force of Giant Plants coming down. Okay. There's a Revitalizer. Go put two Pokemon in their hand. There's a Fast Queen and Yon Mega. Okay. There's one coming down. We'll see another one come down. He's going to take a knockout this turn. Salt Boom. Okay. Yeah, it's going bad right now. It's going real bad, guys. So, Soul Boom is going to knock us out because we're dumb. We're real dumb. We're real dumb. We are dumb, guys. All right, so Zidim Shaman. Hopefully, we try to make an end. Please give me an end. It's not the end. It's not the end. All right, so put a Fairy in the active. We'll go for Sycamore. Discard a hand draw seven new cards. We'll train as well. All right, guys, so uh, we pretty much, like, lost this game. <laughs> All right, so press done. We could have got the end. Well, I don't know why we didn't grab the end. That was just me being dumb. Um, I, I don't even know right now. Like, I'm so lost right now. All right, so we're going to treat into this guy. And we're just going to pass. Like, we're just going to pass on our opponent's turn. Yep, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing right there. All right, so, um... How do we win this game, guys? We have three VS Seekers gone. We have one Life Center hand. We can't even go for the Life Center stall like we did last game. Like, it's bad. Like, I... Maybe I'm out of it. I don't know why. Maybe just, I don't know what I'm doing, I guess. Maybe I'm just bad. I, we've only played one Ultra Ball. No end been played. One Trainer's Mel. One Xerneas. I, just, I guess Lux is on our side. All right, Burst Bloom going to the active. Whatever. Um... I don't even know what to do. All right, so what we got to hope... And there's a judge. We'll go, both go down for whatever. Um, cool. I guess our light standard's gone. But at least, all right, at least we get some stuff. So there's a light. Hey, there's a light standard and a sky field and an EXP share. Okay. So there's Soul Boom for 50. All right. On our turn, we get a Xerneas. So put down Xerneas. We'll put down Skyfield. Uh, yeah, put down Skyfield and we'll play it in. We get six where our opponent gets three. All right, so we have maybe we play Switch. We might be okay. All right, that's not what I wanted. So we will. Trainer's Bell, maybe? Yeah, Trainer's Bell. Looking for a Switch. All right, that's not what I wanted, but we're grabbing Ultra Ball. Okay, so we're going to Ultra Ball. Guys, we got to be careful. Delinquent could come out right now. Oh, goodness. Delinquent could be very scary right now. Okay, so we're going to grab those two. Um, we're going to put a Volcanion in our hand, but not play it down because our opponent could just, like, discard our hand. So we're going to grab Volcanion, and we're just going to pass onto our opponent's turn, okay? All right, so that first one gets discarded onto our opponent's turn, okay? Um, I guess, let's see, how much? No Pokemon in the discard pile right now, which is great for us, okay? Um, I mean, he can just assault boom for 50. If he gets the on mega break, he can't attack this turn. Um, there's the on mega break, okay, but he has three cards in his hand, so right now he can't attack unless he has a supporter card. Uh, there's a sycamore, go and discard his hand, draw seven new cards, and uh, opponent could take a knockout this turn, but he has to put his hand down to four. And let's see, can he do it or not? Probably. Uh, there's a burst one going to the active, perfect. Ultra ball, go and discard two cards of sand, discards a combi and a combi. All right, so you get, he's going to go down to four. He's going to take a knock on his turn. Going down to two, and things are looking fan. They're looking great for us, guys. They're looking perfect. So, Bear Rick for a knockout, 100 damage. Okay, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, going down to two, we'll send up the Shaman with the Floodstone and the DC and Fair Energy onto our turn. We get a Fair Energy. All right, so put down Volcanion. We'll put a Fair Energy on this guy, and he'll play it in. We'll put our opponent down to two while we get six. Okie dokie. All right, so we'll train his mouth. Switch is a great card to have next turn. Okay, so we'll grab Switch. Um, we'll train his mouth again. Okay, for nothing. That's great. Um, and we're going to Sky Turn for 30 damage. Uh, and we'll send up the uh, Volcanian X. All right, still on our opponent's turn. Uh, okay, so next turn we can Switch, DCE, and maybe take a knockout. Mm, I mean, 3, 6... Okay, there's a poke. Oh my goodness, Shebe. No, Shebe, I'm sorry. All right. 
There's a shame to set up a five. My opponent has a life center. He can win. Well, he can't win the game right now. He needs to find Aria Dose. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What will our opponent do? I mean, do we Sky Return next turn? That could be a thing. <laughs> all right, all right. We got guys. We got this. Don't worry. I believe in a thing called love. All right. So love ball. Gonna get a, a an Aria Dose. But no spin arc yet. Don't do it to me. Don't you dare do this to me. Spin rack force, Ariados, Lysander game. And I'd be like, no, no. There's a DC going on Shaman, okay. Alright, and uh, there's a VS Seeker for a Sycamore. Go ahead and discard the hand draw seven new cards. Alright, so no Lysander yet. Alright, guys, so we're good. Three, four, five, six. Alright, so 80 damage right now. Best queen, that's great. All right, so there's an uh, a Yamega break coming down. Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right, we just got to figure out how we're gonna do this, guys. So three Ds. Okay, if he. If, okay, here comes Yama. A shame, and he's gonna Sky Return for thirty. All right, so Sky Return for thirty. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Okay. Um. Let's see who our opponent decides to. Hopefully, we talk an end. Cause that'd be great. Onto our po onto our turn, we get a Joltik. It's not what we want to see right now. Hmm. All right, guys. How do we do this? So we're gonna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. I see. I know. Don't worry. I know this, guys. I know we are in trouble. All right. So we are going to DC the Shaman. Okay. We're gonna switch into the Shaman. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So, is the license to bring it? Okay. So I'm actually gonna put down the Joltik, and then I'm gonna Sky Return for thirty damage. And we're gonna send up the Xerneas. We send up Xerneas. How many burst wounds has he played? Four burst wounds are placed. So we don't have to worry about that turn. So we'll send up. We'll put up the Xerneas. All right. Onto our opponent's turn. Okay. They're gonna draw a card. We know they have a DC left turn deck because we saw it right there. All right, can we win this game? And we have to take six prize cards before he takes two. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on, Pokemon. I mean, he's not going to take a knockout this turn. He already discarded his Aridos unless he plays another Revitalizer, which we haven't seen in any of these games. I don't think we've seen any other Revitalizers. Um, da -da 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 -da. Two Via Secrets has been played. One Lysander has been played. Two Sycamores, a Delinquent, and a Judge. There's a DC going down to Shaman. Okay. Will we see a Sky Return for 30? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's a VS Seeker for a Lysander. And let's see, who does our opponent decide to bring up uh, Lysander? Go ahead and bring up the Joltik, and they're going to Sky Return the Joltik for a knockout, okay? So that's actually fine with me. It means our Xerneas is not going to get knocked out immediately. So 30 damage. But now we have to knock out a. We have to knock out Best Queen. That's the plan. All right. So we're going to send him. He's going to send him probably the Yon Mega. Right? Yep. All right. So send up this guy. We have 80 ish. Okay, so on our turn, we get a super run. All right, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he's not, he's not going to take a knockout immediately, okay? All right, so. Bear. I mean, hold on, let's see. This is 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. All right, so we'll put a flowstone on this guy. Like, I want to put down Shaman, but Shaman just loses the game. Three six. I mean, we have to take a. Oh my goodness, we don't have to take a knockout right now. Yep, three six seven. Yep, we're short by ten HP. <gasps> Are you kidding me? How many V seekers he's played? Three V seekers haven't played. Okay, how many V seekers do you think he has in his hand? That's the question, guys. All right, so DC in the active. We'll super run. Shuffle in one, two, three. Yep, all right, so we're gonna Shaman set up for one and we are looking for an in. We're gonna put an EXP, sh okay, EXP sure we're just lose this game because they get assault, assault, boom, assault, whatever for the knockout. Okay, so we're gonna Shaman set up for one. We need to find an in with this one card. Oh my goodness, all right, so we'll bear break. I mean, Rainbow Force for the knockout. Okay, there we go, 100 damage. But if he has a VS secret, he can win right now. So we'll take one prize card. There is a switch. Okay, that's, that's not what we wanted. Alright, so my opponent's turn is he have a V-Seeker or not? If he does, he can win the game right 
now, or does he have a Sycamore? Discard his hand, draw 70 cards. I mean, right now, he's not taking a knockout. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He is 10 damage short right now, but if he discards one Pokemon, we will lose this game. Oh, my goodness, guys. I know this video is really long, and I apologize, but hopefully, it's a good game. There's a Force of, force, a force of Giant Plants coming down. Okay. All right. There's a DC going out. Okay, that's that's pretty much game now. Because now he's going to hit, he's going to hit us for a ton of damage. And a Sycamore. He already had the game. Cool. I just, I guess our opponent does no math or something. Well, I don't know why they touch DC. I, I don't even know. But guys, there we go. I mean, we had a terrible start of that game. I mean, I mean, whatever. Uh, <laughs> All right, but there you go, guys. I mean, we only took one prize card that game. I mean, game two, we did really well. We did everything we needed to. But that game, we just, just didn't do anything. Um, we didn't have his water card forever. That's the thing. But, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry for all the dead draws. Oh, my goodness. Maybe maybe Rainbow is not the play. It's definitely the play against, like, EX decks, which we haven't played in the last two rounds. Well, play one last round. Yeah, but he had, like... Yeah, Mega Mewtwo is just hard as well. But, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.